In 1972, a pterosaur emerged from the Texas Badlands that would set the scientific community abuzz. A giant with the tongue-twisting name of Quetzalcoatlus. It was named after the Aztec deity depicted as a feathered serpent. Known from a single enormous fossilized wing bone, Quetzalcoatlus was one of the last and perhaps the greatest of the flying reptiles. It lived around 70 million years ago in the Cretaceous period, the end of the age of the dinosaurs. In the Cretaceous, the area that is now Big Bend, Texas, was a floodplain fed by a system of rivers. The landscape was sandy and sparsely forested. Quetzalcoatlus eked out a living probing the shallows for crabs and mollusks, which it would crack with its strong toothless beak. Quetzalcoatlus may also have lived like a vulture, scavenging meat from drowned animals. In full flight, Quetzalcoatlus would have been the size of a military aircraft with a wingspan of 39 feet and weighing up to 200 pounds. But the discovery reopened an old question. Had evolution played a trick on pterosaurs, making them too big to fly? In 1985, Paul McCready, an aeronautical engineer and a team of scientists, attempted the impossible to build a flying model of the world's largest pterosaur. Quetzalcoatlus would be the largest flying animal of all time if it could get off the ground. McCready's prototypes, designed as gliders, launched easily. but they were not successful. McCready looked to nature. Flapping wings had to be the answer. Instead of muscles, McCready used computerized motors to simulate Quetzalcoatlus flight. The 44-pound robotic reptile would flap and twist its wings, spread its digits, and tilt its head to compensate for wind conditions. But could technology reproduce what nature perfected? At the end of 1985, in Death Valley, California, Quetzalcoatlus made its debut. And for the first time in 65 million years, a pterosaur shadow crossed the Earth. Though McCready's model of Quetzalcoatlus was half its size and one-fourth the weight of the living pterosaur, it proved that the giant's body plan made it a powerful flyer. 